Hi guys, Chris here with the next video for Azon Speedrun and in this video we are going to cover click through rate. This video is really important because it doesn't seem that important an area but it will have a huge effect on your sites and if you get this part wrong nothing bad will happen. In fact, if you get any of it wrong nothing bad will happen. So, you know, I'm all for just getting the sites up and out there. On that note, as I say in all the videos, send me your sites to cljpublishing at gmail.com. It doesn't matter if you've got them straight away or if it takes you a little while to follow through the 15 day challenge. Send them to me and I'll have a look and, um, and help where I can if you want to. Um, the options there. But it doesn't matter particularly that you get everything to a T exactly how I say, okay? So if that's the thing holding you back, um, just get the sites up and out there and if you're still sort of thinking, oh, I'm not sure this is going to work, send them to me and I'll have a look through and I'll have a look through your content and I'll let you know my best advice. Um, but in this video, we're going to cover click-through rate and this is a really important subject because I see a lot of people who get sites out there start getting traffic to them and then they're like oh, I'm not getting any sales and the first question I'll have for them is have you got targeted traffic because you need targeted traffic that's why we're doing the product names first and then moving on to um, like keyword driven posts it's because you need the product names first but if you've got targeted traffic and you're still not getting sales it normally is not in all cases but normally down to the um, click-through rate and that's what I'm going to cover now really you'll have a download with this um, just a little printout for you and again you can edit and, and sort of change it up but I'm going to tell you where I would put um, click-through now uh, sorry calls to action which it will which will up your click-through rate the main thing to remember before I go into it is that people on your site landing on your site and not necessarily looking to read a full review so you want to give them an option right at the top however you do it this is how I suggest you do it even different to the example site I've got here you want to tell them what you're going to tell them as the intro on any page or any post so you're going to say this let's just stick with the product review so it doesn't come become confusing but you're going to say this page will tell you about the whatever product it is and we run through the features and the customer reviews and the pros and cons and all that, okay? As we've covered in the content. Now the click-through rate, what you want to do in the very next paragraph is say immediately, look, you don't have to put look, but say if you've landed on this site and you are looking to buy the whatever it is, click here and go straight through to Amazon. It's where we recommend buying from. It gives you, and then go through the benefits of Amazon. Um, really good price, 30% off, whatever it is, you have to check the product listing. It will, will differ between any product. Sometimes I get questions where people say, you know, does it matter because Amazon fluctuates its prices? Um, and it can change for 30% off to 20% off to 50% off. It's never, it's never caused me a problem. I wouldn't worry too much. The main thing is getting the clicks and asking for the clicks. So you want to be saying, click here to go straight through to the product review and you'll be able to check out this product. You want to actually say that, okay? Um, the other thing is, so you've got a click, you've got a call to action right at the top and then you have your main review. And then as you go through the review, you want to try and put a few links to the actual product um, within your listing. Now this, I'll put a link underneath this video if you're wondering and you will see it in the kickstart courses. This is Easy Azon um, that keeps popping up here if you're wondering how to make links like this. I'll put a link underneath here because you can get my Easy Azon bonuses. It's an affiliate link. It's my affiliate link but you've got some bonuses in there if you choose to buy through the affiliate link or not as the case may be. But either way I recommend you pick up Easy Azon. Um, I've got some bonuses in there. I think I've got some, if I remember correctly, in the link below this video, you'll have um, a link going through to the Easy Azon review. And I've got some niches and so on as a bonus. But it gives you a really good click-through rate because you literally get the... This pops up, so people are far more likely. I just linked here to Panasonic projectors and picked this one out. But you want to make sure 
even if you don't use Easy Aeson, that you have some anchor text links like this, okay? Um, I'll do another video on SEO more upgraded, but because this is speed run, I'm just telling you what you need to get the site out there um, acceptable, so, you know, acceptable for you, so it actually makes money. You just want to make sure you've got the intro, you've got the call to action at the top, and then throughout your review, you want to have some um, anchor text links, and then your big call to action will come through. This is still easy AZON, but I shouldn't have really used this feature, it's just massive. But um, what you should use is, as I show you in AZON Kickstart 2015, you'll see that, and you just have an image there. Um, but this still works, this still gets sales, so I'm, I'm not, you know, you'll see the sites as well. You could change up the theme, and the theme I use in, um, in Kickstart, the actual Genesis framework, you can change it up, you can make it look nice, but it won't make any difference in terms of the actual ranking of your site or the click-through rate, in my opinion. Um, but you can make it, I'm not bothered about the way the sites look, as long as they make money. Um, and you can see here, that you've got the call to action so I could make this stronger you just want to have a call to action at the bottom where you say I hope you've enjoyed the review click here and you can say 40% you get this discount people have been rating this five stars and put a picture of the product with a, um, a picture with an actual link and then a big link here or use easy A's on there do it for you and then you just click on buy from Amazon it will go straight through but that is really what you want to have on your click-through rate there will be downloads as well but just to recap right after the intro anchor text links throughout the content again you'll see in the kickstart how to do anchor text link it's just basically when you have a word like decent projector and if I made that a link it would be an anchor text link because you're using the Ideally, you want to make sure that it would be that that was an anchor text link, like the name of the product. But you want that throughout and then a big call to action at the bottom at the bare minimum. You don't, again, I'm not giving you, you need four exact links in your content. That's not the case. Your content will differ, be different lengths for different people, different styles. Just get the links in. One right at the top and tell them, look, if you've landed on this page because you're looking to buy this, click here and go straight through now. And then give them links going through. I even ask them throughout the content to check out the Amazon review and a big call to action at the bottom. And that will up your click through rate. And feel free, once you've got the site up or sites up, send me an email, cljpublishing at gmail.com. And in the next video, we're going to move on to expanding what you do when you expand. Um, and when you should expand and the different ways of doing that. There's loads of different ways, but I'm going to run through some of them. And we will also be touching on at a later date coming up. We've got the flipper selling. I was going to do it as an upsell. I've decided to add it into this course. So you're going to love that. And you've also got, if you choose to get the upsell, you've also got the um, Google Plus session, which will be great fun. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.